uh, I believe Smash? Tri-State Showdown. I almost got that wrong being the Tri-State guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Come but on! Yeah, You're the Tri-State guy on this block. You can't right? mess that up, bro. Sorry, people. <laughs> but yeah, the level 6 has been on the up uh, recently in New Jersey. Honestly, I feel like he has the potential to become PR. And with let alone that, I mean, that's difficult. That's not Look, easy. I, given Little Mac stocks have been on the rise, of course, you have, as always, Peanut, but then, oh, gosh, what was the... The second best Little Mac is also from MDVA with Peanut. Andromeda, or... Yeah, Alternus. There you go. And yeah, then they also have a third one there that's been popping off, too, so... I don't know what it is about the MDVA water, but... <laughs> Apparently, level it. six, he got his hands on it, all right? His little yeah. Mac been popping. That being said, we can't be sleeping on Condi, all right? Look, yeah, I'll keep a buck. I, I enjoy Zelda. I know it's weird, all right? But <gasps> maybe it's because maybe it's because we have uh, Silent Britain Princess, a.k.a. Abby, one of the mm. best Zeldas in the world out here in Utah with, like, wins on T's and Sh T and Shoe Tone. And let me Ooh. tell you, she is just an aggressive son of a gun. Like, she does not care. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I I know Zelda for the absolute brutal scrapper she can be. And right now, Condi's showing a little bit of that Ooh. with the down air. And catch it with a K hey, what did I say? What did I say? There's a, little, there's a little bit there, given you're going to catch a KO punch for your trouble. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it, it really sucks for, for Zelda because we know Zelda to have some a lot. Nice neutrally right there, just catching a very, very linear and, well, albeit not good recovery from Little Mac. But <laughs> <laughs> you're going to see a lot of end lag, and we're going to see level 6 try to punish that. You saw with that KO punch, of course, being able to punish that Phantom after just rolling in. But we could see Connie kind of struggling uh, on the on the corner, which is, you know, you kind of expect Zelda to do fine. But when you're facing this much pressure, this much aggression gets called out hard with the up yep. tilt, the roll, the tech chase into the up beat. That's what level six is known for. And on small battlefield too, which if you guys don't know, Little Mac can reach those platforms with one full hop. And that makes his movement so much better than it already is on the ground. So. Oh, absolutely. I think a big thing here for Condi is dealing with some of this frame data. You saw it at the ledge that first time. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that was a missed opportunity or if she was just deciding, you know what? I'm going to hold on to this game one. Let me take that breather real fast. Let me move on to game two. Yeah. But um, as I was saying, when you saw that issue at the ledge during that second stock, it came down to a lot of this frame data. Like, look at this. All right, we get up. We lightning kick. Go ahead, just back off for a second, because you know what? We're scared and we're getting caught up. But ultimately, we saw like level six go for a down tilt, go for an F smash, and then Condi just misgage what the what the ability and window was to punish that. So yeah, and it might come down to just matchup inexperience as well. I mean, that can always be uh, a different factor, but also just level six's intuition in, in general, because at first, Condi was cooking. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that down air spike into the up smash was nice, and then calling out the landing with the up beat just couldn't get the right hit off of it. Unfortunately, gets punished, but you can see that Condi has stuff cooking. Hey, 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 don't, you know, don't slouch on her whatsoever, uh, because she can totally take these, uh, these games. It's just... Level 6 is using Jolt Haymaker so well, or the neutral B rather, um, uh, that's not Jolt Haymaker, but yeah, the neutral B to be able to armor through Nair, armor through uh, that neutral B as well, so Connie's got to keep that in mind when trying to approach, if you ever choose to approach this character, gets red with that down tilt, watch out, hold it down, oh. actually come get clutch! Yeah, just have a nice, good recognition of what needed to be the saving grace Austin there. I do oh. love this day. Ain't working out so far for Condi here. Level 6 gets that up smash and only 62% KO punch on deck. Condi needs to shut it down. Got him at ledge. No, we're going to see the counter to get on through. And now level 6 taking a little bit of a hit from a Nehru's love. Going to be punished for it. And now off stage, can Condi shut him down? Run the upbeat and just send Gandhi off stage, resetting uh, advantage for level six and stage control. Able to catch out that um, that dash attack, but gets hit by the lightning kick, the landing lightning kick from Condi, who kind of brings us back just a little bit. But if I'm Condi, right, I would not bring a character like Little Mac to Hollow Bastion. The main four stages you don't want to bring Little Mac 
to our battlefield. Interesting, because again, platforms you could uh, full uh, full uh, hop on. Um, hold on. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree already. Hold on. Oh Let's really? Look. I'm gonna cut in here because ultimately you have that center plat, which allows for Zelda to really control a lot of the stage presence. Now, given you do threaten yourself with some of that play. But you can control the pattern of the game if you know how to properly utilize your mm. side Bs and your phantoms to control the pacing. And alongside right. that, it is a longer stage than Smashville, making it a little bit harder for level 6 to just get in because you have more breathing room to say. Down tilt into the jump, into the up B. Uh, not, not, to, not to, you know, uh, <laughs> get off the topic. Oh, no, you're really, totally good. You're totally good. <laughs> I think but... ultimately the thing we're seeing here is level six is just showing a complete understanding of how to work around Condi's options. That being said, Condi is keeping it even, which is phenomenal considering that game number one, how badly it looked by the end of it. Yeah, definitely. Condi now just getting as much damage as she can on, on the stage. I mean, Hollow Bastion, again, gifts level six a lot of movement options full hop on that uh, center platform as well um so a bit of a risky option from condi but i can kind of understand it given more space on uh on the stage with hollow bash and also you, you get to kill little knight really early well there you go <laughs> i mean hey you mentioned kill him nice and early we did it that sword swing coming right underneath the, the stage and send him out there beautifully done also uh weimer how about you shut your mouth? We Ooh. hate Weimer in here now. Grr. I'm the basic white ass bitch, all right? That's my job, that's my role, Weimer. You can't have it anymore. Uh, you go cast somewhere else. <laughs> Dang, they really called you out there. <laughs> now see, Weimer, personally, I wouldn't take that. However, what we are going to take is this game three that's coming out from level six and Condi. What kind of adjustments uh, do you think level six would make? I feel like he was just playing well, going back to the stage that he won on. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, no, no arguments there if, if I'm level six. But if you are, you know, if you are a little mech in this position, and you, you know, you were doing so well in that first game, second game, granted, very, very good play in general from Condi. I mean, what, what's going through your mind? Like, I think a big thing is there was just a couple of times where Condi really started picking apart level six's options at ledge and in the recovery. So I'm hoping to see level six find new answers to those. Given Condi, you know, showcasing some of those new answers that we saw in game number two of avoiding some of those ledge traps, some of those two frame attempts, and now almost securing the kill. Yes, we get it with the heel kick. Love it from Condi. And now level six put on notice and showing right up with that jolt haymaker oh misses misses that jolt haymaker and gets the tech green with the up smash level six trying to lock in as much as possible doesn't want to lose but what an upset this would be for condi to be able to get this game in i mean she's looking prime to do it that down smash beat out nehru's love All right now i know what to do <laughs> <laughs> hey just big punch goes right through right works every time baby that being said, you know what? Level six, gotta find some new answers to some of this pressure and Ooh. does so with that up tilt. Condi getting a little bit antsy and look at that. Level six showcasing that phenomenal Whoa. break down and the break on through with the down tilt to the Jolt Haymaker. KO punch ready on deck to hopefully take Condi's stock out here. But Condi, maybe we got some answers cooking. We're slowing it down. What are we gonna see here, Jellyfish? I feel like Condi kind of does want to slow this down, but at the same time, if you're level six with KO Punch, you want to keep that as much as possible. Gonna lose it to Nehru's love, which has kind of been the MVP for for Condi. Uh, just getting oh, a lot of damage, brilliant. being able to, to to pressure that shield as well, do enough shield damage to then eventually shield poke. You can see Condi is trying to go for jab ones. It's just not working out. Trying to outframe data a little Mac, which I I understand the idea. It's just it just hasn't worked out for Condi, where I feel like now you just have to try and camp, but. Gotta come back on a stage, gets hit by the Joel Haymaker, no jump! Oh, he barely gonna back. make it! Oh, oh. but Downfield not gonna confirm Condi! Still in it, gets that dash attack after the neutral get up, and now the oh. Phantom securing the kill. And now, can Condi go ahead and lock it down? You mentioned you wanted to see a little bit more slow pace. Condi might bring it, <gasps> but you know what first, gotta break through, oh and he does! Level 6 whipping! How do you come back? Okay, almost gets hit by the Din's fire. <laughs> this is so intense, because Condi can just win this with one good edge guard, which I think that's exactly what Condi's looking for. Gets the M smash after dashing back. Level six not right. getting too antsy. Has Condi at kill percent, but so does Condi. 
Oni really playing for it. <gasps> what an upset! The call out, the down tilt, and then a recognizing the look. I've been going for a lot of these lightning kicks, really trying to force the kills at these low percentages. I think this boy's gonna jump. I think he knows that he wants that ground. But then at that point, I got you. This is the extra layer of thought process here. Jeez. Just that defensive awareness from Condi. And just, just racking up the damage and being, you know, kind of not cracking under that pressure. Uh, that level six was really just piling on Condi. Kind of just making sure that she had the space in between uh, her, the Sage, and that Phantom. <laughs> but nonetheless, mm -hmm. Um, again, Nehru's love really coming in clutch in that game three, especially. Oh my god, the amount of times that level six was trying to go in, uh, get a hit, maybe a nair, um, just get snuffed out by Nehru's love, and it's just, there we go for Little Mac. I don't think neutral B would have been able to beat it out. I don't think Ford Lunge would be able to do that, but we wouldn't no, really know. It depends on the timing, because there is uh -huh. some invulnerability during parts of Nehru's love, but right. if you time it right, you win. Um, I think the bigger thing for why we kept seeing a utilization of Nehru's love was because during that game number one and number two, we mentioned a lot of that really good frame data from Netflix, where they would go ahead, go for a hit, spot dodge, that way they could go ahead, cancel into another hit. And Condi, recognizing that, instead of going for some of these single hits, like the jab one, like the down tilt, then started to use that Nehru's love, recognizing that, hey, you're spot dodging a lot. I'm going to catch you on that. Right, exactly. And just really, really good edge guarding as well. You saw, of course, the conditioning with, with Din's fire. Or Din's flame, sorry. Yeah. I might be butchering that. Um, Din's just off stage. Okay, there you go. Uh, but yeah, just really, really good conditioning from Condi to be able to get that. And just a lot of missed opportunities from level six. You could see that he wanted those uppies out of, you know, down tilt. Just couldn't connect them. And Condi was like, all right, this is my opportunity to win. Just goes off stage. Gets that jump read, of course, with that down tilt. And what a way to close it off for Condi. Well-deserved win as she moves on to face Cajun Lady in winner's round three. But that is one of the biggest upsets. Uh, that I've seen so far in this tournament. So far, the rest of it has been moving on very nicely.